Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to import funds on CupCut. So when we actually add a uh, text here on our CupCut, you'll notice that you're only able to actually add text by default what you have on currently on your system. So here you see on the font section here, when we go ahead and he choose the font we want to use, we just click on it and from here, you have the presets from cup cut that you could actually use for your projects but what if we want to add another phone that isn't available here for cup cut so it's really easy to do so the there so the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up any browser that you have on your pc so from here i'll be showing you a website that you could actually go to so it's actually the font Dot com just go ahead and search on google the font or you could just directly type in into your browser the font.com and from here you could choose from thousands of fonts that you, you could actually use so for example we want to use this new york font here so just click on the download button and that would actually download the zip file for that font you want to go ahead and open up that zip file here and when you open up your zip file you want to open up the .t tf file there so just click on it and from here you just want to click on the install button here that you see on the open type version for new york and wait for this to install so once it installs the next thing that you want to do here is you want to just go ahead and open up your cup cut again and make sure you actually restart your cup cut so just click on the x button here to uh, exit this one and exit cup cut here and once you've done that, you should be able to see that font when you open up CupCut again. So go ahead and open up CupCut. Go ahead and open up your project. And when we actually hover over this uh, text here and change our font, you should be able to see the font that we just recently added. So here's the font that we just recently installed. You could just go ahead and click on it. And from here, you'll be able to use that font on CupCut. So same thing applies. Uh, if you want to edit this one, make it bigger. Or if you could want to change the actual text here, like for example, this thing, you could change that. You could also change the font size and the bold or uh, you want if you want to add an underline or make it italize, you could also do that for this font here. So another example is you could just go ahead and search for another one that you want to use. For example, we want to use the coffee terrace here. Just click on the download button again. Go ahead and open up your zip file once it finished downloads. Again, open up your .ttf file here and just click on install. So wait for it to install and you just need to actually restart your CupCut again. So just an example, I'm going to show you that this font isn't available on my PC here. So when, uh, when we actually hover over this section here, when we go to C, you should be able to see the font that's called coffee terrace but as you can see right now it's not available on my system so we just need to restart this one and again you just need to go ahead and open up your project again and from here when we go to the text again you should be able to see that specific font now available on your pc so here here's the font coffee terrace and basically you can just use this here and that's about it so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.